Hey guys, um, today we're um, looking at the three generational um, Native American Sioux Montana tribe women, Joyce, Juanita, and Jessa Ray Growing Thunder. They're master bead workers. This is Joyce, uh, the matriarch. She's the eldest. She taught um, her children, Jessa Ray, or her grandchild, Jessa Ray, and her daughter, Juanita, how to do beadwork. Um, and she is recognized by the Smithsonian, uh, Smithsonian Museum and um, other museums internationally. She was taught by her grandmothers um, in Montana. This is Juanita Growing Thunder, is their last name. Uh, she's also um, a bead worker, <clears throat> highly acclaimed internationally in many museums. And um, of the um, Sioux tribe in Montana, it's the, um, I don't want to say it wrong, but it's, let me see if I can read it, um, a Bonnelly tribe in Sioux. So this is a Kachina doll, and these are small um, spirit dolls. Um, this one has some elaborate beadwork in the breastplate and a kimono style dress with horses on it. Um, today's theme for our Native American um, <clears throat> unit is horses. So this is Jessa Ray, Growing Thunder. She's the youngest. She's actually um, a PhD candidate at the University of um, I believe Montana, or no, University of California, sorry. And um, her PhD is about oral history and how beadwork tells a story. So, um, they have a story that they tell from their grandfather, Ben Greyhawk. And the story goes that to celebrate a grandchild, he would take a horse down to a celebration and all the nieces, grandchildren, cousins, whomever could, um, after he took a war bonnet off the horse, which is like a decorative um, decoration or elaboration, you can see in this horse here, it's in full regalia, um, beaded regalia. Anyhow, so when the grandfather would take the war bonnet off the horse, you see the hooded um, facial covering the horse would run really fast and whichever child could catch the horse and um, jump on top of it would be gifted the horse and that was one way that their grandfather showed appreciation for the family um, these are some other horse um, symbols extremely um, important um, in the Sioux tribe as well as other Native American tribes um, this is an outfit that is almost entirely beaded by hand by the three generations of women. And it is entitled Gives Away Horses. So this actually um, is an outfit that's reminiscent of that story. So that's where it comes back to Jessa Ray's um, oral histories. Um, whereas in here's some of the horse um, adornment for the masks. So they put the mask on the horse and then um, the grandfather would take the mask off and let the horse run. But in other ceremonies, the horses were adorned with um, beautiful, um, even saddle work and saddle bags were adorned with beadwork. Um, their horses were extremely special to them. So today we're drawing a horse. We're drawing like um, somewhat of a realistic horse and then we're drawing a stylized horse, which is just lines and shapes and it's um, not as realistic. But the Growing Thunder family, you can see here on these handbags, there's also horses. Um, they use a lot of horses in their beadwork, but in their newest line, which you're gonna see at the very end, it's children's clothing, it has a very stylized horse on it, and that's one of the horses we're going to replicate. So this is functional beaded artwork. Functional means, of course, that you can wear it and or use it. 
So the handbags, the jewelry, the clothing, the horse accessories, the saddle bags, the saddles. These are all items that are created by hand um, with both fabric hide and beadwork and um, some quilling um, with feathers. And these are functional items as well. The umbrella would be functional, um, any of the hair pieces. moccasins as well or um, um, shoes these are also functional pieces of artwork these um, a lot of these pieces are housed in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington DC here's the children's line so you see the the horses we're gonna actually recreate um, that stylized horse on this shirt okay guys So we'll try to recreate this this horse here um there's a couple other videos i'm really excited we're going to go through the smithsonian look at some of um, their artwork as well and some native american women um, that um, are in the gallery in a new exhibit for 2019 um, and i'm really hoping you're going to have a great week this week um, i also have a small video with my neighbor's horses so you can see some like real life action horses um, but I hope you're having a great week. Um, reach out to me, let me know anything that you need. So we are gonna practice drawing a horse. We're gonna use the YouTube videos. We're gonna link out to those. We're gonna link out to some of mine, some of other people's, and um, practice, practice, practice. So I can't wait to see um, all the work that you're sending me. Thank you so much. And um, I really hope you guys have a great rest of your week. So I will talk to you later, and thanks for learning about the Growing Thunder family of the Native American um, Sioux tribe from Montana with me.